Hello everybody, it's finally cool enough to do the fall startup on the vintage vacuum tube TV sets. I'm going to start out with the 1975 GE Portacolor. This one's got a problem with tin whiskers, so it's probably going to snap and pop a few times when I first turn it on. So we'll see what happens. I need to really get in there and get those t uh, potentiometers cleaned out. And I believe the volume control needs to be cleaned too. Well, how about that? Got some Dennis the Menace on tonight so we can see what the black and white picture looks like. And I'll fire up the old DT con DTV converter and see how that's working. So I can't actually switch through to some other channels. This thing's reacting pretty slow. There's something. Do a little fine tuning on that. Not much sound. There we go. Your access to copy designers like Valentino, Chloe, and Dior. And up to the sales before the digital TV. And surprising. Alright, so that one seems like it's working pretty well. I've got channel four. In channel nine. Well, sometimes when news is light, we have a lot of extra space to. Next, let's try the 1976 Panasonic color TV that I've had since 1985. I do use this one some as it's solid state and doesn't run as hot. Looks like channel 9 is the only one working on that one right now. I have to see if I've got a loose antenna connection. Let's try the 1973 Pencrest. Well, looks like it's working.
There's some color. That's looking pretty good. So there's channel four. And channel nine. On to the next one. That one needs a volume control cleaned as well. Let's try the old 1948 Admiral. And I'm smelling hot vacuum tubes now. Try channel four. Don't see anything coming in on channel four. I didn't get a chance to wear it, but. It's got some good sound there. I like this TV. Hey Caleb, what's up? How you doing? Hey, I'm good. Guess what? I just had my 13th surgery. Haley, really? I just had my 17th surgery. What? You beat me. <laughs> well, I am a little bit older than you. That's <laughs> true. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm encouraged by seeing how people are coming together to help each other during times like these. That one's got to have a loose connection on the antenna. Okay, I've got them all stabilized. This one just has a little bit of a dirty tuner. These two are on channel 4. These two are on channel 9. Working great. And here's a look at my daily driver. I bought this TV in 2002. So it's going to be 20 years old. And so far, it's never had any problems. And finally, let's try the 1977 Magnavox with the T995 chassis. This one's been in the family since brand new. So we've had it nearly 45 years now. I'll turn it on with the remote. Star System remote. Powered up. See if we can get anything in here with this one. Power's been off, so I've got to set the clock. Put it on channel 9. Need 
to turn the brightness up on it. There we go. Seven fifteen. Romantic. That was the moment when I tilted your chin. I said, and There we go. Will you marry me? It looks real blue on screen, <laughs> but it's just talk. right in person. She's determined that you and I are going to have a church wedding. Here, there he is. Better late. What a matchmaker. What well, it is foolish when you think about it. Going to all that trouble arranging for the church and the organs and flowers, the minister. Just, just the sentiment. The 20th this Saturday, we'd have to telephone the invitations. No. Kathy, I think they need the music. Most of our friends have probably made, made plans for Saturday. And here's some color programming. See how that looks. This one's getting to the age where I need to recap the modules. So I might work on that this winter. I can hear it in the sound. That's why they customize your car insurance. So you only pay for what you need. Oh yeah. That's the spot. Sounds getting a little muffled to me. But all that star system's still working just fine. And I'll let these run for a half hour or so. This one's still got a pretty good picture yet. It's all original except for that safety capacitor. And a couple of other electrolytics in that area I replaced a few years back. Original CRT and everything though. But his diabetes never seemed to take one. Everything felt like a no. Everything. But then Ray went from no to no. With Freestyle Libre 2, now he knows his glucose. So once again, this has been a look at powering up my vintage TVs for the first time this fall. Thank you for watching.